the payment process. So the insurance company finally tells you they're going to actually pay the claim. What do you do from there? How do you keep track of it? How do you keep track of all the small amount of claims where you just got checks upon checks upon checks? You don't want to lose checks. You want to stay on top of it. You don't want to take it out of hand. You want to make sure that you're keeping track. I'm going to take you into the elite resolutions payment process and how we process all of our checks that come in to make sure that the insured and elite resolutions is getting paid on these claims. And we're going to get into it right now in three, in two, in one. What's up, advocates? My name is Vince Perry, and welcome to the Commercial Claim Show, and I am so excited about the topic that we have for you today. Before I get into it, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you like, and make sure that you share this content, and take a look at all the other videos you're gonna see on the side here, and fall into that rabbit hole, so that if you're looking to actually learn about the public adjusting industry, and about everything that happens in this game, and really, really get into it, because let me tell you, it's an opportunity to actually transform the life of you and your family, if you could actually be successful in this, and really help people at the same time. So go ahead, subscribe below so we can help you change your life. Again, I want to get into the payment process. So what happens in a claim is you work the entire claim and then a check is actually paid and it's usually sent to your office if you have an office and then you have to process it from there. The issue that happens that we have run into in the past is that you've got several payments that are made throughout the life of one claim and some claims are larger and some claims are smaller. I mean, we've got checks in our office, unfortunately, that are just for several dollars or or several hundred dollars. We've got a lot of checks for several thousands of dollars but for the most part, it's all kinds of checks. When a claim happens, in case you don't know, and I want you to go ahead and look at one of these videos up here that we put up that really explains to you the claims process. When a claim happens, there is several payments that happen throughout the entire course of the of the claim. You've got an undisputed payment. You might have a contents payment. You might have an ALE payment. You might have a supplemental payment. You might have a final settlement payment. Like there could be literally anywhere from four to nine checks on one claim. So you have to make sure that you're keeping track of all that. And if you're curious about learning more about sort of what goes on in the claims process, we do have our elite claims process course uh, that you can go ahead and check out. Before you go ahead and do that, you'd want to take a look at the free ebook that we've got. You're going to want to take a look at that. If you're just starting out, click on the free ebook link that we have below. So you can get a really gra- a good little grasp of sort of what it takes to be successful as a public adjuster. But if you're looking for that elite claims process course, I will tell you, you can get a lot of information out of this book here, which is actually for sale on the website. Go ahead and click the link below as well. But if you're interested in our course, just type in the comments, elite claims process, and we'll make sure that when we launch that course again, that you'll have first dibs on it. So basically, I'm going to basically give you, I want to give you just sort of a bird's eye view of what we do. As soon as a check comes in, we create a separate file for that check. What I want to tell you, if you can learn anything, is we treat every check like its own claim, if, if that makes sense. So uh, on, our, on our CRM, we basically have a separate we have a contact and we have all the different all the different uh, claims and jobs under that one contact and we also have all the checks. They're almost like separate claims. And the reason is, is that there's a lot of updates that happen throughout that actual check. You have to notify the client of the check. They have to send you the money. You have to mail the check. You have to accept, you have to send an invoice. You have to use ink. We're going to get into all that stuff. It, there's so many things that happen. It'll get all mixed up in the actual news and notes and updates of the actual claim. It gets all mixed up. So we create almost a separate claim for every particular check, whether it's $1 or $100,000, whatever the amount of that check is, the way we name that claim is the name of the insured and the dollar amount of that check. And then we process it that way. And we have a completely different board just for checks. And the first step, as soon as we create is when we get a payment notice from the carrier. So as soon as we know that a release has been signed or a payment is on the way, we just automatically, if we know exactly how much it is, we create it, we create like the new claim and we put it on the new, on the first status, which is called payment notice by carrier. First step is the first status of every check is payment notice by carrier. Okay, that's our first step in the process. That is just, we just created, okay, we have a payment coming on the way. Now we know, we don't have to worry, we just know at least, hey, there's a payment on the way, okay? If we know the dollar amount, we'll put the dollar amount. If we don't, we'll just put like, we'll just leave it empty. So that's the first step. As soon as we receive the payment, we separate into one of two statuses, either 
payment received by Elite Resolutions, which is at our office, or sometimes, as you guys know, the insurance company sends the check to the client. We have another status that says payment notice, I'm sorry, payment received by HO, by homeowner. Okay, so from the payment notice, as soon as it's received by either us or the uh, homeowner, we have we drop it into one of two statuses, which is payment received. From there, we have a template letter uh, that we send out to the client where we give them options, okay? The first thing that we do is we send them an invoice. And the beauty about the invoice is that you could pay right there, and you could use QuickBooks if you want. There's probably several other things that you want that you could use. Maybe your CRM does it. We send an invoice with a payment link, okay? And we put in there and say, hey, if you wanna go ahead and pay for this right now, that'd be great, and we'll send you your check. Okay, I say this because a lot of people don't do that. All right, so we give them the first option. You go ahead and pay. The problem is you're paying by credit card and it's up to like a 3% fee or something like that. So they usually, not usually, it just depends on the amount. They may or may not pay it, but we do get payments through that as well. It just gives them the option. So they just know that, okay, I have to get my check. I have to pay this, so I pay it. So that's one of the options. The next option is we put in there, if you would like, you can also Zelle us which I believe is less of a fee or not any fee at all. You could also zell us your payment. As soon as we receive that, we'll go ahead and mail the check. So those are the first two options so that we can get immediate payment on the claim. Then we actually give them for really, it's just really two options that they get. Okay. They can do the old fashioned manual way. Okay. The old fashioned manual way is basically, okay, we've got your check and we will not release this endorsed check to you until we receive our payment first. If you could learn anything off of this video, it is rule number one, golden rule of public adjusting. Do not, I repeat, do not send a endorsed check by you or your company to your client until you have received at the very minimum a check from them. Because the last thing that you want is for you to endorse it, give it to them, and then they disappear. Okay. Again, like everything that I teach you guys, it's because I have failed in experience. Um, it's not something, it's just, it's just my rule. Anybody who's taken a course, have had a conversation with me already knows that one of our golden rules, you just do not release a check. And if they get upset, you just tell them, Hey, look, this is our process. This is how we do it. There's no sense in me cashing this check. If you don't have the money to do it. The only reason it's just collateral that we've got. And as soon as you're, and the thing is what we tell our clients is we're not even going to cash this until you actually deposit your check. So it's just, just the worst thing that you could do is you, you lose all of your leverage on getting paid. If you give the client your endorsed portion of the check. Okay. So just make sure that you get your check for your fee. Then you go ahead and then we mail it to them. Uh, we always mail it certified. And uh, it went, we follow up with them, right? It goes into another status where it's this payment received by Elite Resolutions. So now we know, okay, we've got the payment. We've already sent it to them. Now we sort of wait and we follow up on a weekly basis to see how it's going. Because remember, a lot of times there's a mortgage company on it and it could take some time. The next step is a step that I really want to get into right now. Guys, this is Vince Perry again, the Commercial Claims Advocate. I really hope that you're enjoying this content so far because wait until you see what happens next. Stay tuned. Are you struggling to find a place for your clients to stay after a catastrophic loss like a fire or mold or anything really severe and they have no place to stay and you don't really know what to do because that's not your line of work? You need to call Tyler at Ready Stays. They're like the number one ALE company. They've got properties all over the country and they can match your client with a property of like kind of quality within 24 to 48 hours. Make sure you call my good friend Tyler at Ready Stays and get your client a place to stay with whatever accommodation that they need, call Tyler at Ready Stays today. It's the ink pay process. Guys, I've known these guys for so long. Ryan Holiday, Ken, like all these guys are just such great people. Ken, actually one of the partners in the company is a public adjuster as well. And what's beautiful about ink is it basically, it virtualizes everything. It makes everything put into a process where their goal, which is what I love when I first met them at ink, is that their goal is to ultimately get rid of the check, get rid of the actual physical check, right? So what you do is you tell them, okay, here's the option, uh, ink at the moment right now, it's up to 1% of the check is their fee up to $300. Okay. So if it's a hundred thousand dollar check, it's well worth it. Cause it's only going to go up to $300. So that is their fee. 
it's 1% up to $300 for you to process through Inc. What's beautiful about it is that if there is no mortgage company, there is no charge for them to process, okay? And what you do is very simple. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to upload a photo of the front and the back of the check. Make sure it's a clear photo, make sure that there's no shadows or anything like that. You're gonna to wanna to do that. You're gonna put the check amount and then you're also gonna put the check type. Okay, ACV, RCV, deductible, whatever it is. Then you're gonna click the button to select a service. All right, it's gonna ask you, is there a mortgage company on the check or not? Yes or no. Is the check already been stamped by the mortgage company or not? Yes or no, and you can go ahead and fill that out. Then you're gonna fill out the claim number. Okay, you're gonna put the scope of loss. Very important, if you guys have ever dealt with the mortgage company at all, they always want what's called the adjuster's worksheet. So in the scope of loss, you're just gonna upload the estimate that's put together by the insurance company. If this is a release, then you're gonna to wanna to, like sign release and no estimate, you're gonna to wanna to upload that as well, okay? Um, you're gonna put the job, you don't have to put the job number, you're gonna put the type of loss, you're gonna put the date of loss, you're gonna fill out the ACV, RCV deductible, okay? Then you're gonna upload any documents that you know may be necessary, you put the address, and then the most important part here is you're gonna put the stakeholders, okay? Here's where I think, here's where I think Inc. really separates themselves from everyone else, all right? First thing is, we're already in there. As you can see, I've already got Elite Resolutions, Vince Perry in there. Like, I'm, I'm good. And I'm going to put my fee, okay, of 10, 20%, whatever it is that we charge for the claim. I'm going to get it right off of that check. Then we're going to put in the actual, once you fill out all this information at the top, you're going to actually put in the homeowner's information, okay? Here's the beauty. If there is a roofing contractor that you work with and they've got a contract with a client and they were not actually put on the check, like most of the time they are not, you can add them now to the check. Great pitch. If you go look at, go up, up here and look at my top three objections, all right, by a contractor is them not getting paid once the claim get paid. That solves your issue right here. This initially, Inc. was, I know it was, it was created for the insurance industry, but I mean, Ryan or Ken, if you can tell me I'm wrong, you know, this was really beneficial to the roofers when they first started. Obviously, it's very beneficial for us as well. But you could put the contractor on there now. So I would get confirmation from the client, say, hey, look, you've got this contract with the roofer when you first signed up. Also, you might have been referred by me you're gonna do your roof and you've got a contract with the roofer. We're gonna go ahead and make your life easier. And we're gonna put them on the check so that they can take the money that they need to go ahead and start the repairs in your house right now. So it's really beautiful. And you could, you could disperse everything by percentage or by amount. So if for some reason, let's say $50,000 is the check, all right? And the roof only costs $20,000 to do because there's a lot of exterior, interior damage, whatever it is. You're basically gonna take it and you're gonna put, the check's gonna be $50,000, okay? You're gonna, I'm gonna put 10%, let's say for my fee. And then for the roofer, when I put them in there, I'm gonna put $20,000. So now what happens is I get my 10% directly deposited into my bank account. The roofer gets his $20,000 directly deposited into his bank account. And the remaining funds, goes directly deposited into the client's account. Or if the roofer needs the, all the money to do the job, then the homeowner doesn't get any money, but that's okay. That's not what you file the claim for. Their hands are off. Their hands are clean. They don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to make any payments. It's all done. The roofer's been paid. Let's go do my roof. A really amazing way to just streamline the process so that you don't have to worry about it. Here's the other thing is if there is a mortgage company on it, they take over the mortgage company process. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It doesn't necessarily make the process any easier, but I will say that Inc. now, after how many years that they've been around, they've got relationships with the mortgage company. I have noticed that if it's not a monitored claim, if it's not a huge amount, and if it's maybe a common bank that Inc. has worked with before, they do tend to expedite the process a little bit faster. Also, I am the kind of person where if there's something that I don't know about, I'm not an expert in, or I just don't want to deal with, I'd rather pay somebody to go ahead and deal with it for me. So even if the process is not that much faster, at least I don't have to deal with following up with the mortgage company. I don't have to deal with sending them all the documentation. Inc. works directly with you, with the client, with your client to make sure that communication is open. They get all the documentation they need. It's like almost hiring a public adjuster for the mortgage company. Not that much different. You'll still have to provide the information, but they'll go ahead and expedite that entire process for you. Look, besides the fact that I think it's a great service that they provide, and besides the fact that I do think it streamlines the process for you, 
I also really like the people that work at Inc. Inc. is just a great overall company. I've known them now for probably three and a half years. Uh, they've been to a lot of our events. We go to a lot of their events. We've collaborated on several videos. You go ahead and look at one of the Inc. videos that we've done here with Ryan Holiday. But they're just good people. And like I said, Ken, one of the founders of Inc. is a public adjuster as well, which I really respect also. And an overall great company. And if you really want, if you're interested in using their services, guess what? By just watching this show, you get 100% off the, uh, the application fee and that first initial fee that everyone else has to pay. But by clicking the link below, you get 100% off of that. So for free, you get to just start trying to use their services. And remember, if it's a check that there's no mortgage company on it for free. You could start using their, their system and for free, you can get some of these checks processed without you or your client having to pay anything. It's a really great deal. If you've got any more questions, please comment below. If you've got any, any, any insight or any experience with ink, hopefully it's been well, it's been good. But a lot of times, honestly, if your experience with ink hasn't been great, it may or may not be their fault. It's also the mortgage company, as you guys know, that really makes life difficult uh, for some of these checks. So let's get right back into it. Once the insurance company decides to go, I'm sorry, once the homeowner decides to use the manual process or the ink process, well then it keeps going, right? It, after that, it's always tough to try to find a dependable and quite frankly, good appraiser for your claim. Also, you're always looking to try to build your umpire list to make sure you have the right people on there. So whether you're an attorney or a public adjuster, you're going to need nationwide appraisal group. Uh, call Xander at NWA because quite frankly, great guy, really honest, super Super experienced and has a great reputation in the industry. So if you're looking for somebody to put on your appraisal list, as well as somebody on your umpire list, you're going to want to call Xander at Nationwide Appraisal Group so that he could be the next guy on your appraisal to get that top dollar that you're looking for on your insurance claim. Go ahead and call them. It's very simple. Basically, we get our check, we send them their check, we follow up with them every week. Once they give us the okay to deposit it, we go ahead and deposit it, all is good. With the ink process, God, Inc. is amazing with keeping you updated with all their conversations. There's like a whole little portal, a whole chat that's there that gives you up to date and it tells you when all the funds have cleared. So that works itself out. That you just get the updates and the client gets the update. And by the way, you sign it digitally with your finger to make sure everything all goes through and everybody gets their payment. We've got several relationships with a lot of contractors and they love it because direct deposit right into their account. They would prefer that we use Inc. on a lot of these things. And everything gets worked out by itself. And that's it. Once they choose whichever route they go to, then you're in that process and then that's it. The check is done. If you guys could learn anything in this video, I will tell you, you want to basically create a whole new job, claim, w product, whatever it is your CRM calls it, create a whole new one for that particular check and let that go through the life. I'm going to tell you, you have the manual process pending our physical endorsement. That's a status. Pending physical ER endorsement. We have the manual process pending PEA fee. We have the manual process PA fee received. We have the manual process endorsed check sent to the insured. We have the manual process pending PA fee deposit. And then we have paid and closed. With ink, we've got, which is pretty much all done through ink. We have ink ready to process. We have ink process initiated. We have ink pending insured endorsement. We have ink pending wet signatures. We have ink sent to mortgage company. But a lot of the stuff ink already does for this is before before they had the amazing uh, update feature. But I just wanted to run through bird's eye view and that's it. We're ink. Uh, uploaded mortgage endorsement, and then that's it, paid and closed. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that with Inc., they actually send you a FedEx lab label for you to mail the check, a paid FedEx label for you to mail the check to the mortgage company, okay? And then the mortgage company, once they endorse it, they send it back to you. You take a photo of the back of the check, you upload it back into the system, all funds are cleared. Sorry, I forgot to mention that part, pretty important. And then that's it, that's the process. That is a check process. That is the payment process. I think I went a little bit too deep in there, but I will tell you, if you want to know more, if you really want to go dive in deep into just some of our operations that we've got, we've got an entire claims process, we've got a payment process, and we've got all kinds of SOPs when it comes to the way we run our company. If you are interested in any of that, I really want you to type in operations because we're going to be launching an operations course that I'm telling you is going to be crazier than the sales and marketing course that we just launched. That was all sales and marketing and how we generate leads. I want to get into the weeds of how we run our company, how we run our claims mainly, and how we just manage everything to make sure everything runs smoothly. It's the 
operations course that we're going to be launching. Uh, we don't have, I just, what I really need you to do is go ahead and download the ebook, get into the email list. I also, if you get a chance, type in operations and look forward to the operations course that we're going to be launching. Uh, the plan, we do not have a date yet, but the plan is to launch it in July, 2024. So I want you to get ready. Uh, our end of July, early August. I want you to get ready. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty awesome. So guys, just to recap, I just really want to tell you that make sure that you're following each check individually and each, each check runs its own process. That's number one. Number two, when you do get it, send an invoice to the client and try to get paid immediately because you may have to wait a long time. Number three is you're going to want to give them these two options, the old fashioned manual option or the ink option. If I were you, you might want to get them to run through the ink process because it takes your hands out of it. And also they deal with a lot of it on their own. And then it virtualizes everything so that you don't have to really worry about the paper trail. And then once everything is paid and closed, you guys are all good to go and everyone's happy. And just a reminder, go ahead and click on the ink below. You get 100% off of your first initiation and you could actually start using ink for absolutely free by using the promo code Vince. Make sure that you use the promo code Vince. Thank you guys. Please subscribe below. You're going to want to get into this rabbit hole. Okay. We've been doing this for four and a half years. Go ahead and watch another video right now because I guarantee you're going to learn something else about how to be successful as a public adjuster and how to ultimately transform your life so you could be financially free, have a job where you're helping people and really ultimately take care of your family. Well, I hope you learned a lot of that show. There is so much in store for you in this channel. If you just fall into that rabbit hole, we've been doing this for four years. Click on one of these links here in front of you and see how much more you can learn on the commercial claim show.